What up, friends? Check out my new chair. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's so comfortable. You guys, you don't even want to know what I used to sit on in this office to do my lives and do my trainings and do my coaching calls. You don't even want to know. Um, but I, I splurged a little bit and I got this really nice chair. Um, so, okay, what am I here for? For those of you that are brand new to the community and we have added like 130 some odd new members just since March 1st. So if you are brand new, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Brittany Budd. I am the facilitator and creator of this amazing group. I'm a mindset and business coach and I help entrepreneurs just like you, hey Dana, to build and scale profitable online businesses and I'm super super pumped that you're here so what am I talking about I have so many topics to talk about um first thing thank you Dana it's so comfy and my kids are like obsessed with their they're like can we go play in your chair and I'm like no it was really expensive you guys cannot my children are really little so they also like want to climb on it and like put whiteboard marker on it because I have my whiteboard here and I got my little stash of markers so they're just like yay and I'm like heck no this is white <laughs> hey Dana okay so um here's what I'm talking about tonight first off I want to share with you guys some tips to like really like nail it when it comes to Facebook lives and the main reason that I want to do that is because rumor mills are saying that Facebook is going to start making some big changes to their lives. Now we all know that Facebook lives are really, um, like they're impactful. They're really powerful. You can get your message across. It's a really great way to get belly to belly with your potential customers or clients or teammates because they can see you. They can hear your voice. They can hear your laugh. They learn a little bit more about your life. They learn your personality and how you talk and the way you convey things and how you come across. And so it's a very powerful marketing tool um, and they're going to change it. So with these changes, it's going to make Facebook lives even more valuable to your business than they already are. Now, again, this is a rumor, but I, I'm sharing it because I really see this coming down the line. Facebook is going to start, and again, rumor, doing closed captionings on their live videos, which is like, how amazing is that? That they're in the works, according to the rumors, that they're going to be doing closed captioning on your live videos. Now, what does this mean for you? So many things. It means people are watching your videos even more. We're now reaching a whole new demographic of people that are in the deaf community who can't watch YouTube lives or Facebook lives or any other live platform because they don't know what anybody's saying. We don't have interpreters signing what's going on. Um, it's also going to allow people who are in a setting which it does not allow them to listen to still watch and know what's happening. So like maybe you're at work, maybe you're in transportation, maybe you're on your lunch and you just don't want anyone to listen to what you're listening to. Who knows what you're listening to and why you don't want someone else to listen to it. That's your business, but it's just going to make Facebook lives all the more powerful and important in your marketing, in your business, in how you reach people. So if you're not already utilizing Facebook lives, it's time to make a change. Yes, it's a huge change and it's for the better. Hi, Donna. It's definitely for the better. Um, and so I want to share with you guys Um, on Facebook lives, Dana, I have not seen this option. I don't have that option right now to do that. Um, I know on YouTube after the fact, you can set up some closed captioning. Um, but from what I understand about it, it is not accurate. It's, it's not, <laughs> it's not great. So <laughs> a 
a lot of people choose not to do it or they hire someone um, from like Fiverr or Upworks or something to transcribe for you and then include it. Oh, just a little reminder of my coaching call coming up here. So, oh, there's another one. Good grief. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys because I get asked this a lot. This is, yeah, this is going to be a new feature that's rolling out. Um, people ask me often, like, how do I like really nail it when it comes to my Facebook lives? And you guys, this is not complex stuff. This is really easy stuff to just come across in a really professional way on your Facebook lives. The first one that I want to share with you guys is to look at the camera. For me, it's extremely distracting when I am watching someone do a live and they're looking at themselves. So right now I'm looking at my camera, but right now I'm looking at myself. And you can tell because I'm not looking at you guys anymore. I'm looking at myself and it totally shows that my eyes are somewhere else, right? But when we're looking right at the camera, it feels for the other people watching, hey, she's looking right at me. We're having a conversation. If you don't know where your camera lens is, play with your phone a little bit, you guys. Take some selfies where you're looking around at all the different dots near the top of your phone and figure out which one is your camera. And then, like, I know, like, mine's all black. So, like, I know it's easy to lose. I'm like, where's the dot? Put, like, a little post-it note or a little sticker or something on it or near it, not on top of it, obviously, but near it so that you know where to look while you're figuring out where the lens is. This makes a huge difference, Dana. I think you do the live and then after it's posted, you can go back into it and edit to include closed captioning. I'll keep looking. Great. This is huge stuff. Okay, so looking at the camera, really important. I also, you know, it's just like a personal irk of mine. If someone takes a selfie and you can tell that they're looking at themselves because their eyes are diverted away. But if you're taking a picture of yourself, usually you're looking at the camera, right? So get really comfortable with staring at that black hole in your phone so that you can connect with your audience. The next tip that I have for you guys is your background. Now let's face it, when I see someone's background, and you guys probably do it too, do you not Kind of stop watching the person talking for a few minutes and look around at what's behind them. How many of you have tried to figure out what this says? Or you're looking at my crystals wondering what they are? Or like you're wondering what the books are behind me? You probably are kind of creeping around in my space and that's totally cool. But if your space is super cluttered, super messy, full of crap, people are not paying any attention to what you're saying. They're looking at your junk. Now I'll give you an example. This was like a year ago. There was a woman who is running. <laughs> yeah, sold it out. <laughs> okay, at the last second, look up at the camera. There was a woman running Facebook ads. I don't remember what it was for because I could not pay attention. But she was running ads and all around her, she was like, her office was her bedroom. Her bed was unmade behind her. There were boxes everywhere. There was clothes on the floor. It was a racket. And I, like I say, I have no idea what she was trying to sell, what her sponsored ads were for. All I kept thinking was, it's really messy where you are. <laughs> and I was totally judging her, but your audience is probably totally judging you. So if you cannot find a clean space, where it's just like clean lines, there's not a whole lot of mess. Like even this pile of books is a little too much. I gotta move them up. Um, if you cannot find a space that's clean to sit in front of, go in a corner, okay? If you put your back to a corner, it automatically gives the illusion that the space around you is really big. It doesn't have to be. You could be in a closet. Nobody needs to know that. But if you put your back to a corner where there's not a whole lot going on around you, it makes it seem like you're in a big room. I don't know why I said it like that. It just makes it seem like you're in a big room. I mean, it seemed like I had this great, this great thing to say. Um, a lot of people in here will resort to going on 
um, like I see them on Society6. Is that still a shop, like an online shop from China? And they'll buy these sheets. I am against the sheets because they're cheap. Everyone knows they're cheap. And so it just looks like you're sitting in front of a cheap sheet. If you have to have a sheet, if you're thinking, listen, I have no other option than to put up a sheet. Fine. Iron the damn thing, people. There's nothing worse than someone sitting in front of a cheap sheet that's all wrinkly. Just iron it. It takes two seconds. Um, a landscape of an oil painting. Not necessarily. If it has to do with what you are wanting to, to portray. I mean, it, it just has to be not messy. It doesn't really matter what's behind you as long as it's not messy. Um, the next thing is lighting, you guys. Natural lighting is always best. When it comes to video, selfie, it doesn't matter. But that means that you're in front of a window, which means your whole room is behind you. Maybe you don't want that. Like your kids are home and maybe they're all running around in their underwear. I know that's happening at my house. And maybe I don't want a video with my kids running around in their underwear and toys all over the floor for you guys to see. So if you can't get natural lighting, you guys, ring lights or I own a set of box lights that I got on Amazon. They were like $100. Um, you can get really cheap ones. You can get very expensive ones. It doesn't have to be a whole thing. Just put some light on you. And the best tip for lighting is to put it like, if I put my hands too far out, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. If you kind of angle them like so that they're on either side of you, Okay, and you want them tilted up. Maybe I should go like this, so you can see. Tilted a little bit above you and then pointed down. So then that way, it's the light's coming at you this way. Um, setting up your camera. You want your camera, and see, I don't feel like I have my camera in a great spot right now because of this chair. It goes different heights and I haven't quite figured out the optimal height. I don't feel like this is great. Um, get a tripod. Make sure that your camera is perfectly level with you or slightly above you. No one wants, you don't want to have your phone or your laptop underneath you looking up at you. We've all seen those hilarious selfies just a little bit above you. Okay. Um, if you're going to be live, like there's, we are like six people away from 2000 members. So potentially 2000 people are going to see this video. It's really important to me and I think it's really important when you are portraying yourself as a business professional that you look it. I put on pants. No one can see that I have on pants. I do have on real pants. Um, they're just skinny jeans, but they're not pajamas. Um, dress, dress up, you guys. You don't have to like put on a gown, but I'm coming on here to talk business to you guys to help you make money in your business. I need to look like I know what I'm talking about and that I make money in my business. My hair is done, my makeup is, it's minimal today, but it's on, and I've got like a nice blouse on. Put on a nice shirt, put on some pants. Trust me, I know, put on a bra, I know, everyone's home, you're trapped, you're just like pajamas, braless, let's do this. I totally get it. But the mental shift that you make when you put on pants and a bra, it's kind of like, okay, it's time to get shit done. You're not really going out in public, but you're going out in public. So just dress up a little bit. <laughs> um, yes, that's my pineapple. That's my pineapple statue. Um, what else? Okay, here we go. Before you come live, name your video. Because here's the thing. If it says, Brittany Bud is live in the group, and then you come and it does not tell you what I'm talking about, it's really likely that you're gonna go, well, I'm already bored, Pfft, out. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be mean. I'm sure some of you are very entertaining, but if people don't know why you're live before, like while you're live, they're probably not gonna check it out. They're probably not gonna stick around to see what you're on about and they're gonna peace out. So right in the title before you even press go, Tell everybody what you're talking about. Now, you don't have to give all the keys. I didn't write down my list of tips that I was going to be sharing. You 
don't want to give it all away. You still want people to watch you. So just say, hey, here's a brief overview of a topic I'm going to cover. I'm going to share my tips with you. Check it out. Boom. Okay, make sure you give your video a name. Plus, when you give it a name, you can um, find it easy later. And people, you know, whether you're on your personal profile or in your group or on YouTube, it's really easy to find by the keywords that you used in the title, right? Um, next up is your introduction. A lot of people will hop on and go, hey, everybody, um, it's Brittany, and I'm just hopping on here real quick to, how many of you have done that? I see it all the time every video i'm just hopping on here real quick i know you're hopping on here real quick <laughs> i'm watching you you're on here i already know what's up you have 20 seconds to grab someone's attention dana says you're so right i think i messed that up this morning on my own page i'm sure you didn't um but i don't know what you're referring to because i i know there's a leg <laughs> i know there's a leg in the comment time and the time that i'm talking um People know that you're on live. You've got 20 seconds to grab their attention. So here's how you need to word your intro. You say, hey everybody, remind them, even though they probably just read it, of what your video is about. I'm gonna be talking to you about some tips, and I did not do this today, I started talking about my chair. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys some tips about Facebook Lives. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Brittany Budd. Give your introduction. My name is Brittany Budd. I am a mindset and business coach for female entrepreneurs and I help them to build and scale profitable online businesses. And then what do you do? You give them a little call to action. If you're catching this live, do me a favor and put hashtag live or ask me questions. If you're catching this on the replay, do me a favor and type hashtag replay so I know who's catching me live and who's catching me later. And then, you remind them again of what you're talking about. If you're just tuning in, I'm sharing my my best tips to like totally nail it when it comes to Facebook Lives. I'm so excited that you're here. Let's get started. And then you start in. So, introduction, the first words out of your mouth. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> the first words out of your mouth. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm talking about blah. Say your name, who you are, what you do, how you do it doesn't have to be long remind do a call to action remind them again why they're here and then dive right in you don't need to waste time like I say I did talk about my chair today I feel like in this group it's a little bit different because you guys kind of know me I don't need to do a big spiel every day um, but if you're out in the publics so or you're brand new in your group like your groups brand new and you're trying to grow it make sure you keep saying who, who am I what is going on um, yeah, Soladella, make notes. This is great. Um, okay. At the end of your video, give another call to action. Something that's like, hey, do you want to, well, not do you want to, hey, if you loved this, you found value here, do me a favor and share it in the comments. Or what's even better is if you found value in what I'm sharing, you know, you had some breakthroughs, you want to take our relationship to the next level, send me a message, book a call with me, da, 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 okay? You have to be selling all the time, you guys. There is a mathematical formula for getting clients that pay you. And that formula has a lot of steps. <laughs> it doesn't, but it's really easy to write out and not so easy to, to, to say. But um, it's basically value plus offers in brackets. Okay, value plus offers in brackets multiplied by consistency. So you're constantly giving value and you're constantly giving offers. If you don't sell people at the end of the call to take the next step to work with you or sign up for your freebie or sign up for your workshop or sign up for something, spend more time with you, you're wasting that opportunity. So at the end, give a really compelling call to action Hey, hang it with me some more. Um, if you need notes, you guys, it's totally okay to need notes. Most of the time I ramble on off the cuff. Um, but guess what? I got notes behind me because I did not want, or behind you guys, because I did not want to miss any of these tips. 
So like set up your computer, especially if you're on Zoom, if you're on Zoom on your computer, make like your Zoom window half the page and then make like a Word document half the page with your notes. So you're not doing a lot of like bouncing around or like looking down like, oh, what's next on my notes? It's all right here. You can like prop it up somehow. You can tape it. You could tape it right over your screen if you had to. So Adele, there's no such thing as selling too much. Here's the thing. People don't know you're open if you are not selling. And all you ladies that are watching here with me right now, maybe like if I did another video tomorrow, you'd miss it. And the people that are going to catch the replay of this, like maybe there's just going to be a lot of people that miss this video because the shelf life of a Facebook live is 24 hours. So by this time tomorrow, this video is going to be lost in the shuffle. So you have to sell all the time. There's no such thing as too much selling because you're reaching different people all the time. Um, okay, so I shared with you the changes that are coming to Facebook. I shared with you my tips to like really kill it on a Facebook live and come across really confident, even if you're shaking, even if you're sweating, even if you're super nervous, no one needs to know. Just look in the right place, have yourself put together, have a nice background, make some notes and follow my intro tips and you will knock it out of the park every time. And don't forget that great call to action at the end. Lastly, I did the Facebook group growth and monetization workshop three times in January. I said, I'm not doing it again until like June, like halfway through the year, I'll do it again. And then like maybe again, like December, January of 2021. But the group has like doubled since January. Also, we're in like different times. No one expected to have a lot of people home at once. So I'm really strongly considering bringing it out of the vault and doing it one time this month, but I need to know like who would be interested in doing it before I set it all up because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm serving you guys in the best possible way. And honestly, you guys, you know, I've done, I did the coach-a-thon, I did a and a Is there something else that you would like to see from me to help you in your businesses right now. Like I'm totally open to suggestions. I wanna love on you as much as humanly possible. I wanna serve you as much as I can and ensure that you are getting like the level of success that you want to be in maximizing your time in your business right now based on what's happening in the world. So I'm open to suggestions, but if you are interested in the growth and monetization workshop let me know in the comments and I can get a tally going and all of that I mean it's April 1st it's a new month it's a new quarter it's the spring it's time for some new things I've got my calendar all set up for April it's already starting to fill up but if you have been watching me in this group for a while you've worked done some of my free stuff, maybe some of my paid stuff, and you are ready to take your online business to the next level. So Adele, didn't you do my Facebook group workshop? So in the group workshop, the Facebook group workshop, I teach you everything that I know about growing your group and monetizing your group without spending any money in ads. I've never paid for an ad. I've never boosted a post. The most I've ever like incentive wise I've ever given was like $50 Amazon gift card for people to invite their friends. Um, this group is almost at 2000 members. We're coming up on six months. This has all been like organic growth. And so if you have a group, even if you don't have a group, you should have a group because they are very popular right now. So much so that Facebook is putting out commercials on TV about the power of groups. So if you don't have a group, go get one. This is the perfect way to create a space where your ideal client is going to be hanging out. People are always wondering, where do I find my ideal clients? Why don't you draw them in with, in with a great group and then serve them all day, every day, 
and then they'll turn into clients. Um, you guys, I made this post. It caused a lot of ruckus, but last week I made over $9,000 in six days thanks to this group because this is where my clients are hanging out and I created this and I created the warm market and I created the blue ocean and I'm serving and I'm selling every day. This is where my clients come from. I like to know more about being more authentic. Like on lives or in posts or in gentle, in gentle, in general. Being authentic, I mean, it's just about being true to yourself. If you are writing a post, if it doesn't feel good to you, it doesn't feel authentic to you, don't post it. If you're doing a video and you're talking, you're like, oh my goodness, this doesn't sound like me. Don't post it. Um, in another group that I was in, someone, there was a debate about swearing. This is completely off topic now. There's a debate about swearing. Is it unprofessional or not to swear? I swear. You guys know this about me. I love Jesus and Jesus loves me back. I swear he knows it. <laughs> okay. And I know that I am highly favored in his eyes. Okay. So I commented and I said, you know what? I share, I swear in my group all the time because if I didn't swear, in my content and in my videos, then when people get on a strategy call with me and hear me drop a swear word, I don't want them to be like, wait a second, you're a completely different person. Who you are online is completely different than who you are in real life. I don't want anybody getting turned off because I pretended like I didn't swear trying to be professional. And then they got me on the phone and got the real me or got me on a call and got the real me. And I said, shit. And they were like, Ooh. and guess what? I shared that about myself. And I got a couple of new members into this group because I said, I swear <laughs> with my clients. That's just me. That's just authentic me. I like swearing. I don't think it makes me unprofessional. Some people might, that's okay. Um, so yeah, if you have any interest in doing the Facebook group growth and monetization workshop, like comment below saying that you're interested. It was $97. It was like three hours long. There was so much value, so much content. I share everything. Um, I do it over zoom. I log in to my group and then screen share you guys everything that goes on in the like the behind the scenes of my group. How I grow it, what my numbers look like, when to post, when not to post, what to post and when. How to create content, how to create engagement posts, why you need engagement posts. I cover absolutely everything that has to do with growing your group and making money in your group. Hi Kristen, thanks for joining. Um, or if there's some other thing, like I said, I did the coachathon like last week. I did Q&A already this week. I want to help you guys as much as humanly possible right now. Like I said earlier in one of my posts, my 31 girl, so if they do bags, she's been in business for like eight years. She closed her doors. I don't want any of you guys having to close your doors. If I can help it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, also, like I said, April, my calendar is open for April. Pardon me. If you are looking at me thinking that this chick is the coach for me and like, you gotta love me. I'm going to love you back. It's really important that you love your coach. Um, but if you're looking at me going, I need this girl in my life. I need her to help me change my business. Then let's make that shit happen. Now I'm open. I opened all of April. Some spots are already taken. That's fine. That's what I like. Um, and like, here's what it looks like to work with me. For six months, we will have weekly one-on-one -on -one calls for 45 minutes. I do this because six months of really laser focused, intentional work on your business will set your business ahead by five full years. And so, one thing that I always hear is that when people hire their coaches, they usually buy into a program and they have very little access to their coach. And there's kind of like this internal dilemma where you maybe have questions and you only have access to group calls and you only have a couple of minutes, like a month. That's what it was like with one of my older coaches. 
Um, it was like $15,000 for the year and I talked to her for eight minutes a month if I was lucky. Um, so you don't want to message your coach and ask questions because you don't want to bother them. And you know, I only paid for X, Y, and Z and messaging them isn't included. So now I got to wait a month or more before I can talk to them again. I think that's a bunch of crap. I think people really appreciate being connected to their coach, feeling close to their coach, because let's face it, entrepreneurship is lonely as hell. No matter how supportive your spouse is, no matter how supportive your friends are, other people that are in the same business as you, your journey is yours. And there's always this like, for me anyway, there's always this point where you're kind of like, I don't know what to share. I don't know what not to share. I shared my success and now she's kind of bitchy or she's sharing her success and I'm a little jealous to be perfectly honest. It's really difficult. And so having weekly access to your coach to talk through everything that's going on in your business, giving you the exact right steps that you should be taking in your business, helping you with your mindset, doing everything that you can be doing to make money, I can fast track you to what you want in your business, what it looks like for you, what the goals you have and the desires you have for your business, the day to day, the money, I can make that happen for you. So if you are interested in exploring what that looks like, set up a free strategy call with me. We'll talk about your business. We'll talk about your goals. We'll talk about your struggles. Everything that you tell me in that one conversation, I can hone in on exactly where the improvements in your business need to be made so you can start making the money that you want to be making. You can start having the freedom that you want to be making. And trust me, you guys, if you have hit a plateau in your business, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling overwhelmed, the answer is not to work more and work harder. You're going to be told that and you probably believe that. I just need to do more. I just need to work harder. I just need to push more. It just needs to be more, more, more. False. You need to do less. But... A lot of people don't know what that looks like. So hiring someone like me who's been there, done that, I have a million t-shirts to prove it. Like, let's make this happen. Let me help you. So I'll drop my link in the comments. You can book a session. It'll be great. It's super fun. I have a lot of fun. I'll tell you everything that needs to change in your business. And then we'll explore what it looks like to work with me for those six months. How I can help you. Um, okay, that's it. I gotta go. I got a coaching session. I'm um, loving it. Yes, Dana. And I love working with you too. Dana is one of my newest one-on-one -on -one clients. Um, and she is amazing. And I will talk to her on Monday morning. All right, you guys. I know I gave you a lot of call to actions here, but like I said, okay, book a session with me if you want to work with me more and take your business to the next level. Let me know if you are into it. Hi, Rebecca. Yay, I love you too. Rebecca's another one of my one on one clients. Um, so fun, have you guys all hopping on? <laughs> um, there's, there's still a few of you missing, but that's okay. Facebook group, growth and monetization workshop. Yes or no, if you have a better idea, drop it and I'll make it happen because I wanna serve you guys. So have an amazing night. So good to see you, Dana. I'm happy to help. Enjoy these tips and Ooh, there's a poll that's, I don't think it dropped yet. When we hit 2,500 members, I'm going to do a giveaway. And so I've got a poll going on what that giveaway should look like because that's a huge deal and I'm really excited. All right, you guys have an amazing night and I'll talk to you all later. Mwah.